Hey! I love how the sun's looking right now. The cyclone decided to make its way back. It's been cold and wet for most part of the weekend. It is a Tuesday today. I think it's Tuesday the 14th of March. And I just thought, hey, why not make a chit chat video about everything that's been going on, how I'm feeling, the place I'm at. But before I get into that, I just wanted to say, guys, I love to romanticize life and nature. And yes, it's been cold and cloudy for the last 48 or 72 hours. And now suddenly the sun's out and there's a very beautiful sunset, the wind, there's a nice breeze. I just wanted to say, even if life gets tough, even if uh, you may go through rough patches, there's always going to be light at the end of the tunnel. The sun's always going to shine and you're going to be good. I just felt like this was just a warm hug from Mother Nature to just remind you that, you know what? It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be windy. It's going to be cold. But at the end of the day, you're going to get some sunlight, baby. And I like to believe that if I were a flower, definitely I would be a sunflower. I shine, I bloom towards the sun. And when it's been cold and cloudy for a very long time, um, I tend to just feel very sad and I retreat to my own devices, to my own space. And I just am not my usual happy self. But once the sun comes out again, I'm very happy and vibey again. So yeah, I just feel like, yeah, I'm talking a lot. I'm going around and around in circles. You guys know that I like to derail, but that's a story for another day. What I'm trying to say is, yeah, it's been quite a hectic month. I mean, I just want to say thank you, God, and thank you to everybody who's prayed for and with me um, for the last month. I don't know, maybe you've heard or maybe you've not heard, but um, I lost the love of my life to a very short illness on the 7th of February, 2023. And yeah, it's been tough. It's been such a horrible time. Now that I think about it, no, I think about it every day, but you know, what I'm trying to say is that I'm just grateful for the place I'm at because grief looks very different for a lot of people. But for me, I'd like to think that I am handling it okay because of the support I've received. My parents came down, my brother came down. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. But yeah, everybody's been saying, sis, if you feel like crying, let it out. And honestly, that's also been helpful because sometimes I'm just like happy when I think about my partner. And sometimes I'm just so sad, especially in the mornings or at night because I used to start my day with my partner and in it with my partner so those two times during the day mm, the pits i tell you but yeah today i just decided to take a walk and just take in nature the green the sun the fresh air and i feel good mike was an incredibly private person so i am going to try to not overshare <laughs> i know <laughs> i struggle with that and some of you may feel a certain way but the fact that, you know, I've got a YouTube channel and whatever, your comments came to me, they got to me, and I heard what some of you are always saying and the conclusions. But anyway, as I always say, life is a journey. Life is a journey for everybody. So, yeah, I'm going to try not to look into it too much or to think negatively about everything. Let me turn back. Let me turn back and go the other way because I'm going to get shy. You know how it is like vlogging in public and stuff like that and everyone's just staring at you and she's just like, eh. all right. So what was I saying? Life is a journey for everybody. So I'm not going to like deep everything too much. But yeah, uh, my great aunt called me this one time, my grandfather's sister, after the burial. And she said to me, Tandy, be cautious about people because sometimes they can say things without knowing what they're saying. But I just want you to be ready for people's comments. And at the time, I didn't think too much of it because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all the people are wiser and they've, they've seen a lot of things, more things than I have, and they've gone through a lot. So, yeah, I just said, ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Coco. And kept it moving. 
Then a few days later, the call started coming in. Boy saying some things I obviously know, you know, they were not aware of what they were saying and the impact that it would have. But because I had gotten that word of advice from my Coco, I just said, you know what, I'm going to let it slide. But I just want to remind everybody to be mindful. If you don't have anything kind to say, a wise woman once said, just patish, shh. If you don't have anything kind to say, just... And also, to support a grieving person. Sometimes they may not know what they require. You can say, how may I help you in this time? It's not that, you know, yes, they understand that you want to help. But at the moment, they don't know how you can help. And grieving is very different for a lot of people. For myself, I just deleted all my socials because people were going onto my Facebook, clicking on the links and coming to conclusions. Hey, it looked like he didn't want to be there. That's not true. I feel like I have to address this because I thought it wasn't going to get to me. But then, yeah, let me just get it out there since you're so concerned and also for you to have just peace of mind. Mike was an incredibly shy person. like, <laughs> And, you know, I always said to myself, this is my YouTube channel. And at the end of the day, I can't force my loved ones to be on there. I always ask for their consent before I post them. And because they love and care for me, they just say, okay, we're going to support your dream. You're going to support your passion. And also, I, I, I always watch what I'm posting, what I'm saying, what I'm doing. I always run it by them, especially, you know, with my husband and I. I always used to ask him, babe, can you watch this vlog before I post? And if there's anything you're uncomfortable with. Guys, I once deleted a video by mistake. And I literally said to my hubs, babe, I'm going to delete this YouTube channel. It's giving me grief. You know, I had the trouble with the monetization thing back then also. And yeah, now things have just been deleted. And yeah, I just feel like, yes, I love to do it, but it's giving me stress. And I don't like to be stressed. And he says to me, babe, you're good at this. Do not delete this YouTube channel. And, oh, there's no more power. No, threats. Anyway, what was I saying? You're good at this, so continue. But, yeah, I just felt like I had let him down in a way when those comments were being made and people saying funny things, which kind of sucks because now I'm like, dude. But anyway, it's a whole other thing. What I'm trying to say is that don't read too much into the social media stuff guys people post things and they'll be going through something totally different some people can showcase that oh we love each other but deep inside it's just pits in the marriage so yeah not saying that's the case for me i'm just giving an example but yeah i'm just really glad that i've documented all of this and i will continue to document your little comments ah uh, I don't care, child. You can think what you want to think. But yeah, I'm just saying, be mindful. This man loved me. I loved him unconditionally. And we grew. We knew each other intellectually, spiritually. Like it was just beautiful. I'm so blessed to have experienced this. Even if it was for such a short time. 17 months and some change. But honestly, this man made me grow closer to God made me grow in my spirituality he made me want to be better at everything in life like he made me appreciate all the good things whether it's small or big he made me feel so loved like yo <laughs> i can't even explain like i can write a whole book about this man and our marriage and yeah i'm just feeling so passionate the more i talk about it and stuff but yeah this is real life. This is my life. And we have a beautiful daughter. Thank God for that. Just be mindful of the things that you say to people. You don't know what they're going through. And even if you know, people are very sensitive men. <laughs> they may not make it seem like they are, but trust me, they really are sensitive and going through things. So just think before you bah, open your mouth and speak. I feel like this is a very teachable moment for a lot of us. 
you may not want to hear my message you can choose to ignore it but i know you've heard me i know you're listening this is not to insult anybody or to affect you in any way that is not what i want to make you feel and also getting into that guys like i did a little series right <laughs> i was posting about uncle mike and our love for each other and a lot of people were feeling sad about it i suppose because you know it's surrounded by death and stuff but that was not my intention my intention is to show you that you know what yes this is such a horrible horrible thing that's happened but listen this man left a great impact in a lot of people's lives all i'm trying to say is this was a great man uh, i will continue being on my youtube channel because we spoke about it and you know this is my passion i do it because it makes me feel relaxed makes me feel happy this is my journal imagine if i had not documented all of this what was i going to show my baby when she grows up when she starts asking those questions about what was my daddy like you know so i'm just glad in everything i give glory and praise to the most high because he's all knowing he's all seeing that generator is making a noise that i don't like i suppose that's a sign for me to sign off but yeah i just wanted to say yes i'm off socials <sighs> yeah i'm so sorry about that i just deleted my facebook i deleted everything my tiktok and instagram are still up because they wouldn't allow me to delete <laughs> i don't know why so yeah some people actually reached out they're like yeah we're generally worried about you that thing that i was talking about earlier and like i know i try to sometimes say something but i don't put it in the right words and i don't finish my train of thought but what i was trying to say is that people grieve differently i reached a point where the many messages a day i appreciated everyone reaching out and checking up on me but it was literally giving me hypertension guys i woke up one day and i was breathing heavily i felt like collapsing i didn't know what was happening so yeah i'm a person yes i'm an ambivert to many people who know me they see oh you've got a youtube channel so you should be able to handle a lot of people in your face i'm still human i still have a lot of feelings hey like i can't handle my private number having so many people talking to me like da, 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 da. i've changed my numbers so many times because of that when i feel like hmm, there's just a bit too many people coming at me at the same time i like to just change numbers get off socials at times and just focus back on self and center my chakra because yo it can be a span at times but yeah this video is just to just say i'm okay baby effect and i okay I really really appreciate everybody who's reached out who's praying for us who's helped us in any way may god bless you all abundantly i really appreciate you all yeah i don't like these kinds of messages these kinds of videos because some people may take it in a funny way ah, but you know what i don't want to care too much like i'm not the kind of a person who likes to think too much about other people's opinions especially if it's negative i only want to take the positive side of everything but yeah i just wanted to reach out and say i'm okay to everybody you know taking it a day at a time some moments are very very tough you know but prayer prayer has been really helpful that's all i can say pray challenges do come up but you have to pray as uncle mike once said just say that one needs to pray. When you pray, you're prepared for anything. Mm. Challenges do come up before you get there. Mm -hmm. And always pray as a couple. Mm -hmm. And you overcome a lot. Very important to pray. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Everything's going to be okay. Miss you dearly every day, every moment. I still think about you. But we're going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs>